Every week I ask myself, can the boys on Dig Fellas ratchet up the excitement another notch? And every week the Dig Fellas answer, hell yeah. yeah. The D legendary Bill Lab. Oh yeah, look at that, Heather. It's a lodgy. There's the legend. <laughs> Very cool. Love it. Metal detecting legend, Bill Lab. Pump it up, baby. Pump it up. With the barn foundation in the backdrop, this is an 1837 lodgy. Gotta love that. You gotta be kidding me! We're hardcore diggers and we'll do whatever it takes to get to the treasure. Yeah! Our finds are legendary. Yeah! 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 I'm the best. I'm a cover boy. <laughs> think we just walked right down dirt roads to get to these things. That's not the case at all as we crash through brush. Cell is up on this hill. Out of breath now. Beautiful fall day. This was all ferns recently. There it is. Foundation right here. You can still see the walls intact up on this side. Nice high walls. We usually call this an animal pen. That would have been a wooden gate right there. All oh, this is very detectable. There's a foundation. Oh, here we go. Oh, it almost looked like something modern, but now I know what it is. This is, yep, you can see the cast line there. This is a very old pewter spoon end. Maybe I'll come across the bowl in a minute. This is where it was cast right there. We find a lot of these at these really early holes. Kind of dates the site. Inside pot chips. Oh, yeah. Just behind the foundation, here we go. Hell yeah. Show buckle. Damn, 78 solid. If that ain't a coin, I don't know what is. Yeah. Remember I said we gotta look for the buckle frame now, the shoe buckle frame. Look at the bottom of the plug. Oh, hell yeah. That certainly looks like the shoe buckle frame to me. This it's gonna should be all designed. Oh yeah. It's gonna have all patterns on it and that piece fits right in here. Super cool. Hell 
yeah. See if I can clean it off a little bit, show the design. It looks like a fancy one though. Now I can marry that thing back inside. It'll be cool and I'll have a complete buckle. Well, here we go, people. It is a fancy one. Starting to clean up if I can focus here. Little holes in it. Little, like, uh, leaf designs, maybe. Have to get some more of that crud off. But nice. I love shoe buckles. Think that was on a guy in, like, a pilgrim outfit. And I got the inner piece. Ooh, look at the back. Now that the dirt has fallen out. Look at the scroll work on the back. Very cool. Love it. Starting to clean up nice, too. There's a signal like right in between the stones. This is the corner of the foundation. And uh, I don't even know why. Most people wouldn't even take this big coil around it, but I thought I'd give it a shot because every once in a while there's a coin sitting there. And uh, let me show you. It's a solid 60. Could be a button. Let's see. Damn, it is. It is. Look at this. Right in between the stones. This thing fell down the sidewall. It's a big button. Nice. Very cool. It was straight up and down in between the stones. Sick. Yeah. It was sitting just like this. I wish, I almost wish I had the camera. It, it fell right there. It was like that. There's the indent, indentation there. Right along the foundation. Very cool. Now it looks like it could be Tom back with that hump there. I'll have to s scratch at it a little bit and see. Uh, yeah, maybe not. But that hump usually indicates around Rev Warrior is a good safe bet. All right, I was wrong. Look, a little bit of scratch, and there's Tomback shine under there. It's uh, almost like a bronze, high-quality brass. Very nice. Here's an impressive-looking barn foundation out back. It would have been a big old barn they would have pulled in right here. the stonework still standing and all dry laid too no cement you don't really want to see cement at a site like this because that indicates a later site I heard these little wings flapping look at this little hummingbird here you can pick him up it was right over my head and I was hearing hmm, 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 hmm. Those little wings are flapping. And look at this. We got a perfect match, folks. Aw, oh, yeah. I've, I've found those little dual pin pots. Now I can have a complete buckle. Very awesome. All right, while I was digging, I heard Heather yell out, huh? what do you got? Oh, you got a copper. You always say you want <laughs> one of those. It looks like a large, that's like your first signal. That's a good sign we just got here. Oh yeah, look at that, Heather. It's a largey. My first one ever. Your first ever large scent? Look at how nice it is. 
Uh, can we get the focus? At least the back is always one side that's better than the other. The other side's coated. I can do my magic fingernail if you want. We can get the date. Oh, that's going to look nice. Oh, yeah, what a first ever. And what a good sign for this site. The cellar hole's right there. And this is on the path to the barn. That's like your first signal. This could be a really good virgin site. That's what I'm excited about. And you're excited about your first copper. This is going to be super condition. can tell already. Just like that one I dug last time was 1837. This might even be a matching one. I will fingernail it and... Alright, so with the barn foundation in the backdrop, this is an 1837 Lodgy. I found an 1837 last time out that she was jealous of. This is like an exact match. <laughs> now it's my Dude, turn. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a real good sign that we got a virgin psychus. Who would have missed that? Damn. 87, 91. Let me see if I can match Heather's lodge set here. Foundation, bottom of the plug. Look at it at the bottom of the plug. Can you see it? It's like a flat button. Oh yeah. Or is it an Indian? It might be a coin, it might be a button, who knows? It's certainly not the love of a woman because that is buried very deeply indeed, my friend. Or is it an Indian? Ooh, it's an Indian hat, okay. That was a flat button. I don't think it's a fat Indian. Again, we're dealing with a site that's late. Or later. There we go. Get you the date in a minute. It doesn't feel like a fat Indian. But hey, could be a 77. You never know. is fabulous on it. Looks like 1860 or 66, but look at this thing. Gotta love that. It's 66. Doesn't feel like a fat one, but maybe it is. Nice. We'll take that. Well, I wanted to show off some iron, you know, I don't think iron, the iron relics at these sites get the credit they deserve. They're often tossed aside. Um, this would have been like a gate latch, and it would have swung down like this, and then, you know, hooked into something like that. So it would have swung down and probably held a big wooden barn door or a gate shut. Maybe even the gate over there along this animal pen. So that's something I may even take and preserve because I've never seen one with that pin in there like that. These are common, just this swinging part. A pretty cool relic. Well, I haven't found the target yet, but I want to show you something. There's a, like a whole mocha wear bowl. I believe this is mocha wear. It's got these stripes on it. And it's pre-Civil War. There's like a whole bowl broken up in here. We're always on the lookout for this kind of stuff to get into a trash pit. You know, uh, the Civil War era trash pit full of Ponto bottles is worth more than the little trinkets you can find uh, metal detecting sometimes. I haven't even found the target yet though. How about a mocha wear bowl full of coins? That'd be cool. Ooh, it's a button. Looks like a two-piece, though. How about a military two-piece? It just looks like a floral. Let's see if we can focus in. Yeah, 
like a flower but in two piece so later 1860 1870 damn well I'm in like full-blown dump mode along this wall that's a uh, that's early I forget what this is called but there's all kinds of scenes on the side find these in like Civil War trash pits. They're like 1840 or something. That's a whole freaking busted up thing along the wall here. This is like some crazy bitters bottle. Look at that. It had like all kinds of sides. And that's some feather edge. Some of that goes back to colonial days. Sick. You got something, Bill? You got something? Uh, oh, squish can. It, it's a can. Trash pouch. Oh, you got something? Bill, you got something? Yes. You gotta be kidding me! No way! Let's bring this to Dan Meter! <laughs>